Evening, everyone. What a mixture of a day we've had here. We've had heavy rain, we've had sunshine, then we've had heavy rain, then we've had sunshine. I went out today, I had just a light, it was the longest cardigan, but a light white one because it was nice. As I was walking down the road from the one shop I went to, I could feel the rain coming. I went, shit, I haven't got my umbrella. And anyway, I managed to get to my last shop. And by the time I come out there, and I wasn't in there long, the rain had stopped and the sunshine was out again. I thought, feck's sake, make your mind up, will you? Anyway. So yes, I've been out to go for a little walk just to feed my cats and shut them up. <laughs> no, I had to go and get them some cat food. I ran out of uh, biscuits this morning for them. So I thought, right, I've got to go to the shop and get some more biscuits. That's probably why they're so quiet, because I fed them with more biscuits. <laughs> no. Anyway. We're looking at Sebastian Rogers again, and two things that are happening, I believe, this weekend, I think it's the 24th, 25th, 23rd or 24th, one of them days, it's either the 23rd, the 24th or the 25th, one of them days. Well, one day is where they're doing the rescue ride to honour. Sebastian. Now, I don't like that title. Why? I don't like that title. I'm not Sebastian. Hmm. I don't know. 
I think I could put a more a different title rescue ride for Sebastian. You know what I mean? Not to I know him. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't know about the title. I'm not sure about that title. And then one of the guys, we've got a protest outside Sumner County Sheriff's Office. Right? Now, I believe in protest, fair enough. And I have said, if I was Seth, I would go up to the Sheriff's Office and say, clear me or arrest me. Right? And I've got a short interview I've been talking about everything that's going on. So we'll be looking at that. However, I have seen a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people talking about this rescue ride and that they're charging $25. And with that, you get the ride. Don't know what the ride is. You get a T-shirt, you get a bracelet, and then you get a meal afterwards. Right? And then I suppose it's like a vigil thing after that. And people are complaining. Why about... Not so much complaining about the donation of 20... But why are they use, uh, donating the money to uh, a dog rescue place or something like that? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't done any research on it, to be honest. And I'm thinking, why not? Right? Why not? We all know Sebastian loved animals. We all know that. So why not have a fundraiser? And it's for just to let Sebastian know we haven't forgotten you. We are still out there looking. We are still putting your name and your picture out there. We haven't forgotten you. And why not do it for, raise money for an organisation or whatever, which helps dogs or animals, whatever they are, whether they're dogs, cats, I don't know, I don't know if it's all dogs or what. And, um, but there's a lot of people who say, well, I'm sure they could give donated the money to other causes. Right? And the other big question that kept I kept hearing, is you sure I'm not you sure the twenty five dollars is going directly to that cause? All I'm meaning, do they think Seth and TikTok Tony is going to take a percentage out of that money? I don't think Seth would be like that. I don't think he'd let Tony TikTok Tony do that either. Why? Right? Because this is for Sebastian. And I think everyone, if they can, if they can make it to that event, they should go. Right? Like if it was in the UK and I could make it. Uh, not so much. Like say, it'd have to be in Scotland somewhere. Because I'm not going all the way down to England. Especially not what's happening down there. Right, um, so somewhere in Scotland, I'd go, I'd pay my £25 or whatever it was for the ride and my t shirt and my bracelet, my meal. I'd do that if I knew it was going towards a good cause, like a, a dog place, a dog rehoming place. I don't know what it is, um. Let's have a look, see what it says. Hang on. See if I... Right, let's just see what it says. Let's have a look at this one. I'm going to turn the volume off at the moment because I don't know what's being said. Um, I 
Right, it's the benefit ride will be held on the Saturday, August 24th at the Fallen Brewery on Jarco Drive in Clarksville. A prayer vigil will be held after the ride. Organisers are asking for $25 donation for per, per rider, which will include a custom shirt, a bracelet and a meal following the vigil. Organisers said the proceeds will go to Michaela's Mut Motel. Right, let's have a look at this. Michaela's. How do you spell that? M-I-K. M-I-K. <laughs> go back again. Okay. I'll down him just trying to get the name sorted out properly. Right. Oh. Is that what was it? It's a motel motel. Okay. Right, it's Clarksville, isn't it? Uh, it's a dog rescue, right? Hold on, let's share this with you. You can take me off there, I'll go in the background, there. Right, so it's a dog wish. Our mission at Michaela's Motel is to rescue stray, neglected and unwanted dogs. We foster our res rescues, providing love, care and training until they are prepared for adoption into families they deserve. Fair enough. And it just gives you a lot of pictures, one where you can adopt or foster or donate. Um, they, we are a non-profit rescue, dog rescue, lo located in Clarksville, Tennessee. Our founder and namesake, Michaela, began fostering dogs in 2016 while serving in the United States Army because she has a lifelong love for dogs. Because of her effort and hard work, she received the Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Medal out too. In May 2022, Michaela decided the dogs over, often overlooked, such as those with medical or behaviour conditions, needed special attention Michaela's motel was made official. Okay. Since our inception in 2022, we have taken in and placed over 100 mutts. I don't like mutts. A dog being called a mutt. I don't. Because of our focus on behavioural and medical concerns, our biggest expense is the medical care we provide to each mutt from heartworm, heartworm testing, heartworm testing and preventing to spray neuter procedures. Additionally, we have undertaken heartworm treatments, TPLO surgeries and ocular surgeries. If we did not have to continue support of our followers, then none of this would be possible. We are extremely grateful for all of our donors, adopters, volunteers and supporters. With your help and your votes, we achieve Clarksville best Young Profit Organisation in 2023. As a result of this, we received a comprehensive media package from Five Star Media Group. Right? So, it's a non-profit organisation. So, what it means is everything they get goes into the business, into getting the dogs looked after and cared for. You know what I mean? And I can assure you it's not cheap. 
right? So, but we've got, you got people going, but why are they going out? Why are they going out in it today? Why not? That's my question. Why not? Yes, there are other organisations that could, you know, have a, a special set up done, an event done, and going out the money to them. But why not this one? Right? And someone mentioned, I only caught a clip of it because it was on another channel, and I was re really watching it from, they were st uh, streaming from another, they were showing this channel on their channel. And it had TikTok Tony on it. And I thought, oh God, here we go. TikTok Tony. I think it was Lady Kai. Right? I thought, oh, not TikTok Tony. And someone's mentioned, and it was a bit ironic because I, I'd seen this yesterday afternoon. Or was it this morning I watched it? Can't remember. My memory's not good no more. And I thought, flipping out, I've just, I was even just going to do a live last night on the reward, why no reward has been set up. Or I've just done the reward, the live. I thought, flipping out. And I never got to hear his response. <laughs> <coughs> Right, so I'm going to have to try and find out what channel that was. There's like six of them on panel. I can't remember which channel it was now. Right, so I'm going to have to try and find out what channel it was so I can watch it. Even though I'm not keen. Right, I, I'm not keen on TikTok telling you, but if that's what Seth wants, that's up to Seth, isn't it? Not us. You know what I mean? If he wants TikTok to me, then that's his choice. There may be things we do that Seth does not like. Right? So, I'm not going to put him down just because... I'm not going to put Seth down because I don't know what, why all this hate is towards Seth. I don't understand that. I don't. I just don't understand the hate that people people have got towards Seth. He only needed one person to start it off, and then someone else chimed in with them, and then someone else chimes in with them, and now we've got a load of people who are all so against Seth. Why? Because he had a GoFundMe, which has helped. Him in the search for his son. Right? Uh, why? People believe Seth had something to do with him miss with Sebastian going missing. How? A, he hadn't got the money to hire anyone. <laughs> because, you know, yeah, people are saying perhaps it was a conflict from where he worked. Then I got it for nothing. Right? And why would, if that was the guy's, what, why would Sebastian leave his home to go with someone he doesn't know? He wouldn't. Unless that person come into his home and took him from his bedroom. Anyway, and then I say he's on, He's on camera the whole time he's at work. This is why I can't understand why the police have not cleared him. It's six months now, right? And they have not cleared him. Yeah, I can understand in one way because if if they clear Seth, then everyone's going to go, oh, they haven't cleared Katie. They haven't cleared Chris. So then it's forcing the hand. Would they have to either act on something or clear Katie and Chris? You know what I mean? But I don't think it's fair that if they know where Seth was and they've looked at all his bank transactions, believe me, 
They will give going through all their bank transactions, both Katie, Chris and Seth. They get going through the whole lot. They've looked through their phones. They backtrack maybe five years in messages. <laughs> Anything. They do all that. All right. So why would they not clear him? Why would they not clear Katie and Chris? If they stand there in an in press interview and say, we have no, uh, there is no evidence of foul play. Why won't you clear them then? Come on. You've had six months now because you started this investigation a week after he went missing. So you've had round about six, coming up to six months now of this investigation. Clear one. Clear the parents or charge someone. Because this is ridiculous. The... People that are coming out with such ridiculous stories, I can't get my head around some of it. That's why I don't watch a lot of these YouTubers about Sebastian because I'm thinking, really, again, again, and it's just all BS. It's like I haven't, like, some people don't like BHB, right? And there's a lot of YouTube channels I don't like, but I watch. Because they do come out occasionally with some good information. Well, I haven't been able to watch BHB for a, for a while now because it's all about... Since the last time I think I've seen BHB was when she got home, a couple of times after she got home from Tennessee and all that lot. And the rally and all that. And she had the puppy with her. I watched the shows for a couple of times. And since then, I've not been able to watch them. Because every time I've clicked on it, she's been having a rant. I'm going, oh, God. Off, off. Get her off. No, no, can't do with that. Right? And then there's other YouTubers I, wa I watch. And I do like. But then I think, where have you come up with this information? Where have you come up with this? Right? And so it's click again, I'm off. So everyone's got their own opinions, but you've got to stick to the facts. You've got to stick to the facts. And the facts are Sebastian went out on the Sunday with his mother. He went to. <clears throat> Was he? he went to one place and did some grocery shopping. They picked their niece up. They met the relatives at the uh, BJ's. From there, they came home, brought the groceries home. From there, they went to the bowling. From there, they went for their lunch, their dinner, the evening meal at Texas Roadhouse. The last visible sighting of Sebastian was him walking out of Sebastian. The Texas Roadhouse with his mother to the car. There's no like people going about. Ah, oh, but it was seen taking a rubbish. The trash can out. No, you, we can't be definite on that because it was graying. It it was dark. You know what I mean. So. Uh, I won't put too much thought into that. So, did he come home? That's a big question. Did he get home Sunday night? Right? I believe he did. Right? And I believe, my opinion, my opinion and no one else's, something happened that night. He had a busy day. His medication wasn't kicking in. Oh, oh, sorry. I've just noticed. I'm live streaming to X. Hi there, everyone from X. Put my little message to them today. Hmm. Cleared it up. Hmm. 
<laughs> anyway, sorry about that. So, my eye just caught a little tick thing. Ooh. Anyway, so you've got all these people going, thinking up all this. And I'm thinking, no, no, no. The facts are what we know, right? That's why police law enforcement was asking for any uh uh what am I looking for? Um sightings of Sebastian earlier on on the Sunday. Right? Because they had nothing from six thirty onwards. They had nothing of him. So we got home, never to be seen again. But then you got that, and don't even go down that track of the garbage truck. Don't know why Seth said that. Don't know why Chris is saying that. You cannot fool us into thinking that was a garbage truck. Because if that camera from that house can pick up a garbage truck on a road right behind the other houses, the lights of the garbage truck from the other houses, then I want that camera. I want that camera. Of course, I'd be able to see for miles where I live if I had that camera on the outside of my, my apartment, my place. I'd be able to see what people are doing right over in this park across the road from me. You know what I mean? So, no, that was not the garbage truck. There was two flashlights. Right? Well, I say two. I'm not sure if it was two or one. I know there was one because one was moving. And then you had that light, that vehicle lit up. Where you seen the headlights come on and the backlights come on. That is not a garbage truck. Anyway, so we get all past there. So we've got nothing. There's no sighting of him. No. No, nothing, nothing of Sebastian. Once he got back to that house on the Sunday night, there's no sighting of him, nothing. Yet apparently he managed to walk out of that house without leaving any scent, any footsteps on the wet dew, dewy grass because it was cold, he was barefoot. No footsteps. Right? Managed to get past all those cameras, ring doorbells, all the house cameras without being seen. That's one clever child. Because I can't even get to my local shop without being caught on at least five cameras. It's like a uh, big brother's watching you round here where I live in Scotland. Because you. Either way, wherever I go, whatever bus stop I go to, where whatever shops I go to, you, I've got a, a camera in the lift where I live. I've got a camera in the foyer, foyer where I live. I've got a camera outside the block. <coughs> <coughs> then I walk down to my path, to these steps. And there's a camera on the other block outside, and they are likely to be picking me up as well. Right? Then I walk down these steps. There might not be any cameras between them steps, the bottom of the step. But once you get across the road, you've got ring doorbells, you've got house security, you've got everything. Then you've got, I walk up these other steps and there's like a garage area. I don't know if they've got cameras inside there. I don't know. But then I walk around the corner and there's all the shops, which have got cameras. It's like Big Brother is watching your every move. And now in the UK, Big Brother is watching your every word. We've got no democracy no more in the UK. If I was younger and I hadn't got children, I'd be packing up and leaving. Don't know where to, somewhere where I'd have freedom to say what I wanted to say. Without the fear of my door being locked at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning and the police carting me away to be locked up. Anyway, getting off the subject here. So, the, 
no one is sticking to the facts. The facts. Now, there's no proof to say Kate has done anything. No proof to say Chris has done anything. And no proof to say Seth has done anything. So, um, I believe that I um, was... Did they say when that, that was going on? Oh. Um, that's on the 24th, so that's on the Saturday. And I know... Oh, the 26th. The 26th of, which is a Monday, is the protest will be held outside Sumner County Sheriff's Office on Monday the 26th. Rogers has not been cleared as a sus suspect by law enforcement in this case. He wants to be cleared because he wants to bring the Cold Case Foundation to help, in to help, to help in the search for his son. But he has to, he has to, but he has to clear his name first, which I don't understand. Because when some of, some of Wales went missing, right? I don't know how long after it was. Uh, Chris McDonough, who works for the Cold Case organisation, he went and did an interview with. Um, Candice, yeah, and they hadn't been cleared, they still haven't been cleared, and people are like at two years when some of us have been missing two years, they say, why don't you get the cold case people in, no, we're not having them come in, we're not having them come in, no, yeah, Nothing was said about them, how they had to be, their names had to be cleared. They still haven't been cleared. So I don't understand that, why they're saying Seth has to be cleared first before they can come in. I don't understand that. But I can see, uh, if it was me, I'd be up at the sheriff's office going, clear me or arrest me, one of the two. Because I know where I was that day, you know where I was that day. So clear me or arrest me. Because it can't be looking good on him at work either, you know what I mean? So we're going to watch the interview. It's not long, it's only what? It's only a couple of minutes long. One minute forty one. This is one of the interviews, okay? Share this tab. Okay. Let's go wide screen. Yep, that's brilliant. Let's go back. Vigils will be held later this month to bring awareness to the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers. It's been nearly six months since the 15-year-old with autism was last seen. Last month, the Sumner County Sheriff's Office told us there still has not been any traces of the teen. His father, Seth, told us today that tips are still coming in. He says they continue to have vigils to let people know that Sebastian is constantly being thought of. There's still people that don't know that Sebastian is missing. There are people that still don't know about Sebastian. And I just want to bring some more awareness to the community I live in and the community around Nashville that, you know, my son is missing and that people, I need the public help to find him. There will be a benefit ride for Sebastian on August 24th at the Fallen Brewery on Jardco Drive in Clarksville. A prayer vigil will be held shortly after the ride. Organizers are asking for a $25 donation per rider, which will include a custom... The car. Sorry about that. The internet. The, the phone. I can't believe they put an advert in. A bracelet and a meal following the vigil, 
100% of the proceeds will go to Michaela's Mutt Motel, a veteran-owned and operated dog rescue in Clarksville. This is to celebrate Sebastian's love for animals. We used animal therapy when he was younger and when we lived in Kansas, and he really likes to take care of animals. Set spokesperson Tony Mathis says a protest will be held outside of the Sumner County Sheriff's Office on August 26th. Seth is working to clear his name as a suspect in order to bring in more resources like the Cold Case Foundation to help in the search for Sebastian. A uh, disabled. Nine. Nine. Oh, let's just get this again. So is. I don't know what to say here. I'm lost for words because. So they're having this uh, fundraiser. It doesn't say what the ride is, though. What do they mean by the ride? Right. Let me read. It says Sebastian absolutely loves animals. Join us as we give back to Michaela's Mutt Mut Motel, a veteran owned and operated dog rescue in Clarksville. Twenty five dollars donation per ride, which will include a custom T shirt, and a bracelet and a meal following the vigil. Motorcycles and all and all welcome. And all vehicles welcome. Right, so so if you're going on a bike, you've got to pay twenty five dollars donation to be able to go on the road. Is that what I mean? A bit like last time, but I didn't put a, ch a fee on it. Is it a bit like that? Mm, I think it is. I think it's a bit like the last time they had the bicycle ride. From the Rogers up to the high school, but this time they're charging twenty five pounds, and you get a t shirt, a bracelet, and a meal. Right? I'm sure. I hope to God they get a good turnout like they did last time. They had a really, really good turnout last time. And then the prayer vigil following ride at 5, 5 p.m. at the Fallen Brewery. Oh, right, so it's not at the high school this time. So they're having up Clarksville. Make a change. It'd be nice to see it somewhere different. Right? Because I was thinking about this. I was watching something earlier. And it was about BHB being in Tennessee, going round and putting all these flyers out, stapling them to the posts and all that, all that lot. And I thought, why is no one going along the route to Clarksville? I know there was a couple of people who used to go out on their horses daily. They said they was out there daily going along on their horses, checking that route, looking for Sebastian. But has anyone actually been on foot looking that route? You know what I mean? But that's a rescue ride. So to ride again, it's a bike ride or car, whatever. And if you want to be involved in that ride, you have to pay the $25. And the money goes to the... Michaela's Mutt Motown. Here we go. Here's the rain again. Here's the rain again. I think when it rains heavy, you might actually pick it, get it picked up on the mic. Because where I sit now with my laptop and my mic and everything is in the balcony. And I've got windows all the way around. I can see I've got a window looking into my kitchen and then I've got windows looking outside 
I've got some great views from where I sit, from where I live. Anyway, so that's the rescue right. That's from what I can understand. So she can a car, it's $25, bike, $25. Okay? So, and then he's doing this protest outside Sumya County on the Monday. I don't see what a protest will do. I think it'd be more sensible to go up and inside, just walk inside and say, look, either arrest me or charge, either clear me or charge me. You know what I mean? I'd do it privately. Whose idea it was to have a protest? Was it Tony's? Was it someone else's? I don't know. But then again, it just highlights Sebastian by having a protest because it's the father trying to clear his name. You don't see Katie or Chris trying to clear their name because it's not affecting them. It's not affecting his work. It could be affecting Seth's work. He works with in the police. You know what I mean? So... They could all be looking at him, boom, oh, what are you doing to your son? You know what I mean? If he ever, if and when he goes back to work, he needs to have his name cleared. And I just feel so bad for Seth. I really do. Because when you hear him talk about his son, he talks about his son from the heart. I've never heard, well then again, I've heard Katie say something once, and I thought, you know what, I believe her there, I believe her in what she just said, I can't remember what interview it was in, it was only a short sentence, a short little bit, but I thought, whoa, I believe what she just said, because I felt it came from their heart, but Why is she not speaking out? She knows what happened. She was the last one with him. The police have got to be looking at her. They've got to be. She was the last one with him. There's no sign... Pardon me, I've got hiccups. There's no sign of him walking out of that house on his own. There's no sign of him. No trace of him. No sight of him. Nothing. You ask the police, you get different stories about the dogs. The police say the dogs didn't pick up on a scent. Then you've got another, some Chris saying the dogs picked up on a scent. So who do you believe, Chris or the police? Right? And then there's that thud. Katie talks about this thud. Now she was on the phone to Chris at the time. Why won't he talk about the thud? He wasn't there. So all he could say is, yeah, I heard her shout into Sebastian. You know what I mean? She heard her noise and I heard her shout into Sebastian. He would give her a shout into Sebastian. So why can't he just say that? But he won't answer nothing on that. He will not talk about that. But then in a lot of interviews, he'd made mistakes like, we would have heard him. Well, even if you was there, Chris, you would not have heard him climbing out of his bedroom window because you're on the back end of the house and he's on the front end of the house on opposite sides. You're not going to hear him climbing out a flipping bedroom window. I only hear when my grandson is getting out of bed because he, there's a floorboard. In their bedroom, that's a bit creaky, right by their door. And he hits it every time, and it wakes me up. My granddaughter, though, she kind of like, she's allowed to wait. She kind of skips over that floorboard. And I only know when she's standing, when she's not in bed, because she's standing there staring at me while I'm in bed. And I wake up to her face staring at me. Oh, get in bed. <laughs> Get in my bed. <laughs> I can't be asked to get you back in yours. Just climb in mine. But she didn't come through till about five, six o'clock in the morning. And my grandson was in his own bed. The two nights. Brilliant. 
Brilliant. But I do miss these cuddles. Anyway. So, he wouldn't have heard, they would never hear him going out of his bedroom window. So that's a load of BS in my opinion. Because you've got their bedroom and then you've got like a little, from their bedroom, you know, as you can imagine, you've got a little hallway. And from the hallway, then you've got the kitchen. From the kitchen, you've got the living room. Then you've got another little hallway. Then you've got a door into his bedroom or whatever. You would not, they would not hear anyone climbing out of that flipping bedroom window. And then people say, well, the camera across the road would have caught him. The doorbell camera wouldn't have caught him. Because that's, if you've got a doorbell, a ring doorbell, and it's hitting your neighbour's house across the road, so that every time they come in and out, it's setting your doorbell off on your phone. That's an invasion of privacy. Right? That's an invasion of privacy. That's why I'm quite surprised they say it picks him up, taking the rubbish out, because I thought, well, that means their perimeters for their doorbell goes across the road. I wouldn't have mine. I'd have it set for the curb, the distance to the, from my door to the curb. And that would be it. I wouldn't have it going across the road. Because again, anything could set that off. But there is a house apparently that had footage of his bedroom light going on and off. About 11 o'clock at night. Then all of a sudden at 11.30 the house goes into complete darkness. Well, I thought Katie was on the sofa talking to Chris at 11.30. There's lots of red flags. So, and as we know, Seth, clear my name, clear his name. I hope they can clear his name. Because he was at work. They've got evidence. Why they would not clear his name from day one, I do not know. Right? Yes, okay. Maybe take a couple of days not to clear his name. Right? You've got to check his works. Fine, you check that. You check his bank accounts. Any extra money going out or in, whatever, you check his phone calls, his messages. Yeah? That'll take probably a week. I don't know how long it takes to collect to get the information you need from a bank account and from phone records. Well, I don't know. So say a week. Once all that comes back clear, they can then say, right, well, we know where he was from 6pm or 6.30pm Sunday night till 7.20 or 7am Monday morning. There's no extra money, no suspicious money being paid out, no suspicious money coming in, there's no messages, no phone calls from any unknown phone numbers, it's clear. So why have they not cleared him? Why? This is what I don't understand. And if it was me, I would be, I'd be pissed. I would be pissed now. Anyway, so there's not much else I could say about the road or about the protest. I don't know how many's gonna be there at the protest. I don't know. Um, I hope he has a good turnout for the right. Okay, I really do. I hope he gets a good turnout again for that. Because he had a brilliant turnout last time. Brilliant. And why not do it up in Clarksville? That's where he lives. Why? You know what I mean? Sebastian used to go to Clarksville with his dad to visit, stay with him on the weekends. So he's got his neighbours up there. Who knew Sebastian? Know Sebastian. You know what I mean? There's probably people up in Clarksville who know Sebastian. 
who would like to pay their go to one of these videos, but they just don't feel like travelling all the way to Hendersonville, which is over an hour away. And to be honest with you, Katie and Chris has never been to one of them. So I can understand them having them in Hendersonville because of Katie and Chris being there, but they've never been to one of these vigils. Not one of these rides. Yeah, Chris is a big bike rider. Right? Loves his bikes. Why didn't he go on that bike ride last time? I wonder if Seth will be on his bike this time. He said now he's had the operation, he can now ride his bike again without being in constant pain. So I'm wondering if he'll be on his bike. Be nice to see, won't he? So that's on when. Did I say Saturday? So hopefully there'll be someone streaming it and I'll be able to. Even if I have to start, like, let them start streaming first and then start streaming, rewind it. Like, because when someone's going live, like I'm going live now, if someone has missed something, you can rewind it and watch from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, because there's a lot of them I have to do that to. <laughs> so, so if I have to do that, I will. If someone's streaming it live, I'll let it run 10, 15 minutes first, and then I'll start streaming it onto my channel. So that it's not actually live. What you will be seeing on my channel will be 15 minutes behind. But I say, there might be a news channel streaming. Hopefully there is. If there is, I'll be streaming from there. But we will see. Probably be clicking through all the channels, see who's streaming. I'll be just last time. <laughs> uh, I wonder if uh, Terry Lynn will be there and if she'll be streaming. I wonder... If what's his name goes this time, T Rev. Wonder if he goes. I'm sure Bullhorn Bet is going to be there as well. And that might be another reason I haven't. Well, no, this was already planned before I went to court. Apparently, there's an injunction on her going within a certain distance of Katie or their home. It's not saying she can't go to Tennessee. It's just saying they can't, she can't go within a certain distance of Katie or her home. Well, that's fine. She don't need to go by their home. She don't need to go by Katie. Right? Well, what if she's in a car park and Katie pulls something next to her? Has she got to move? When it was Katie that pulled it by the side of her. That would be my question. So there's an injunction on, on Ball on Betty not to go within a certain distance of Katie, which I think is totally ridiculous. I think people need to start growing up. Stop all this. If they put all this energy they put into taking people to court, even Seth, Put all this energy into taking people to court or sending out ceased, ceased and deceased letters. Put all that energy into finding this lad. It's like when that, that picture came out of that lad that was a spitting image of Sebastian. Oh my God, the nice thing I went, oh my God, they found him, they found him. And I thought, hold on, where was this? You know what I mean? And it was a spitting image of Sebastian. What did Chris say? Straight away, it's not him. How does he know it's not him? A lot of us thought, oh my God, that's Sebastian. We are so set on it that it was Sebastian. And it wasn't. But how did Chris know straight off from day one, it's not him? How did he know? Now, Silver on the scene, and 
Christy, Christy, Summer, they've been doing searches for Sebastian, but down by Horn Lake and places like that. Woods, Mississippi, uh, Memphis, Mississippi Way, all that way. Right? And it's very interesting what the, the one. Wow, well, what's her name? I can't think of what her name is. I'll, uh, I'll find both the videos and I'll put the links in the description. Right, but the one, the woman, she actually gets down this embankment and goes under the bridge and she finds something. Hmm, I'm not going to say what, I'll put the link in there in the description. You want to go and watch it yourself. But she's climbing down this embankment, she's going under these bridges, she's walking through bushes and thick bush, bushes and trees. And what she's looking for is Silver on the scene did the video. And as he's walking across this bridge, he's got his camera looking into this forest. And someone noticed within six seconds of him walking along that bridge, of filming, there was a cross. Now, when I looked at it today, I thought, could just be shadows, because that looks like a, a tree bit trunk, and it should, could just be shadows to the side. So, he got on touch with this Christy, whatever her name is now, and she went there, and she was looking for the tree, or the cross, and she couldn't find it. But, she did find some tracks. Right, which looks like um, like a four wheel drive sort of thing, a big truck, like a truck. And she followed this track, but she didn't want to follow it any further. She followed it up so far, but then there's another track going off in another way. And she said, I'll be back again tomorrow. She said, I'm going to follow that track, see where it goes. Because it comes off the main highway. The track itself was coming off the main highway. There's no roadway to say you could go there, go down that way. It was just a track coming up off the road. So someone's been down there in a truck. Don't know when. You know what I mean? We're looking at six months later. Possibly it wasn't anything to do with Sebastian. Could be someone in one of these... What are they called? Like them four wheeler things, the little cart things, drive things, like buggies. Could have been something like that with kids singing, kids going and having fun down there. But she's following this track, so I'm gonna see if that see if she's put that video out. I'm gonna watch that. But um, these two. Silver on the scene and this Katie or Christy, her name is. Christy, I think it is. Christy. Christy. It's Silver on the scene and Christy on the case. That's it, Christy on the case. K R I S T Y on the K A S E case. I'll put the link in the description. You want to go and watch it? Subscribe to her as well. Sub up to her. Right, because she's out there, boots on, and she she's not giving up. She's just got this feeling that Sebastian is in that area somewhere. She's got this feeling. She, in her opinion, this is her opinion, and my opinion, believes that Chris or someone got rid of Sebastian down there somewhere. Uh, we don't know. It's a big area. And law enforcement, she said, I'm not worried about his private property because law enforcement gave us the right of way. Because when law enforcement come up to him at that house, they are talking to them about Sebastian. They didn't even know about Sebastian going missing. And they said, is there anywhere we can else we could look? And they said, look, wherever you want, you've got the right of way. So law enforcement down there have given 
Silver on the scenes and Christy on the case, the right way to look wherever they want. Right? Obviously not directly. If you're in someone's house or garden, then no, you can't do that. But if it's in a woods, a wooded area, yeah. But she found someone in one of her vid in that video I'm talking about. Don't know if it's got anything to do with Sebastian, but she's picked it up. She's bagged it, and she's handing it into the police. So I'll put the link. As I said, I will put the link. It's very interesting, very interesting, and she's so determined as well. So determined. Anyway. I'm going to leave that at that for tonight because there's not much on this case. I just thought I'd do this tonight to let people know about the rescue ride and about the protest on the Monday that Seth is doing outside Sumner County Sheriff's Office, which I'll wholeheartedly agree with. I just think rather than have a protest, why doesn't he just go up to them and say, look, I want to bring in this organisation. They won't come in until I'm cleared. You know where I was, so either arrest me or clear me. One or the other. If they arrest him, I go, okay, you've arrested me. On what charge? Being as you've got me on camera at work, what charge? You've had all my bank accounts. You've had my phone. So what charge? You know what I mean? So it's like, it's literally calling their bluff now. Which I don't blame him. Because it's 20... Is it 26... Hold on. Yep. The 26th is... Actually, six months to the day that Sebastian went missing. He was reported missing on February the 26th. And Seth is having his protest outside Sumner County Sheriff's Office on August the 26th. So actually, six months to the day, he'll be having his protest. And I, I can't really say anything about it because... I'd be the same. It doesn't take six months to clear someone. Right? And if it does, then what, are, what the hell are the she sheriffs doing? What the hell is the sheriff's office doing? They, apparently they uh, mandate one sheriff a day. Each day there's one sheriff uh, just low attend it uh, on the Sebastian Rogers case. So if you get any information, you'll just get to this, it'll just, you'll be put through to this one sheriff who's dealing with all information each day. It's a different sheriff, obviously, each day. Right? But they're the ones dealing with it. One sheriff a day is now dealing with Sebastian Rogers. Right? And that is just a token. In my eyes, that's just a token. So, well, we look, we're still looking into this case. We've got one sheriff looking at working on it each day. You ought to be grateful we've got one sheriff working on it each day. Excuse me, this is my song. I want 100 sheriffs working on this each day. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but it's like them saying, well, we are still working on it because, look, we've got one sheriff. We're still working on him. We've not forgotten Sebastian. But did you ever notice in any of them press conferences they used to do, the law enforcement used to do? Right? They never, ever had a picture of Sebastian up. Never. Now, you look at Judge Grady, right? When he does his videos, his videos and he press releases, he's got the pictures of all the villains in front of him, everything. And... So it's something I hadn't noticed until Seth mentioned it oh, ages ago. He said, I just hope next time they do, I, he said, I've got one question for the sheriff. 
Next time you do a press release, have a photo of my son up. So people know who you're talking about, you know what I mean? So all right talking about someone, oh, Sebastian Rogers, this, this, this and this. But do they know what he looks This is going out to the nation, apparently. And yet they've not got a picture of him. That is how much some of county sheriff's office believes in this case. They can't even have a photo of him. When they're up there doing a press release, which I think is. They, didn't even, they don't even have him on their website for missing children. On their own website. TBI have. FBI, I believe, have. Other organisations have. But some of the county don't. They've never had any interest in this case. From day one. They've just believed what Katie told them. That Sebastian walked out the house between 12 midnight, Monday night, midnight, and 6am. Just go up, walked out the house, ran away, whatever. But he didn't take no shoes, no coat, no money, no phone, nothing. He just decided to go up and walk out the house. Okay. We believe you, Katie. It doesn't make sense. There's no, no sighting of him, no sense of him anywhere. And then you've got a police saying the dogs didn't track him. And then you've got Chris saying the dogs did track him. Uh, I'm going, what is he? Did they? Didn't they? I'm not believing Chris. I'm really not believing Chris. Even though I don't, I don't know if he was there or not. I don't know. People talk about him being there. Some say he is. Some say he isn't. But then some people said he was at work at 5.15. Why would you be at work at 5.15? Oh, I'll tell you something. I heard something the other day. I've never heard this before. Apparently, Chris got into trouble at his works for something he did with a machinery, some piece of machinery. He was working some machinery. And he got into trouble. That's something I wanted to look into, but I haven't seen I haven't seen anything about it. Now I'm sure if that was the case, I, I know a certain YouTuber would have found that out. He would have been right on that case if that was the case. Perhaps it was him who found it out. I'll have to go and have a look on his videos. Hmm. I think I'm going to just have to do a dab sitting here on my laptop. I'm going through all the videos on two times speed. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here because I'm not going to drag it on any longer. Because as I said, I was only here about the rescue ride and to talk about the protest on the Monday. I'd, if I can get a stream, I will be I will be live. Uh, what time is that? From two p.m. So five hours. So it's like seven p.m. my time. Is he? I don't know. I'll find that out. And you will be informed when I go live. Right, everyone, I'm going to leave you there. I will say tomorrow night, I'm doing a video, a live on Summer Wells. Now, I haven't really been following the case for a while. But I heard something tonight, and it pricked my attention. I went, mm, really? Oh, okay. So I came and sat here and done my picture for my video, right? And I thought I didn't really want to do about some of my some of my wife's case, but she's a little girl. She's been missing three years. Again, she's not been found. The police haven't done nothing. They had so much information on the parents for abuse, neglect, if need be, on the three legs, and they've never charged them. 
So we'll be looking at all that tomorrow. So if you want to come and join me, please do so. Glad to have you back here on X, everyone. I lost you for a while again. I had to leave a send X a little message saying, look, I paid for my upgrade. I've got the blue tick by my name. Why can I not stream, live stream onto my channel? And look, I'm live streaming. I was going to cancel my upgrade if they didn't do something. So, something happened. Anyway, so glad to have you all here with me tonight. Glad to have you here from YouTube. If you're watching on replay, please share. Get this information out about this rescue ride and about the protest for Seth on the Monday, which will mark six months to the day that Sebastian has been missing. Right. So, I'm going to leave it there until later, tomorrow, when I'm talking about Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Till then, thank you all for being here. If you haven't already, hit that like button, go and subscribe and hit the all. That way you'll get all the videos, all the lives, everything, you'll be notified. Help me build my channel up. Till then, see you all soon.